Hey guys, welcome to REI Co-op Your Guide. I'm Hotek. And I'm Miranda. And today we're talking about the best trekking poles you can find at REI this year. So to make our picks for best trekking poles, we talked to customers in the store and we looked at customer reviews, and then we took all those recommendations and we put them to the test on the trail. The first category that we have are best trekking poles for hiking and backpacking. And for that one, our pick was the Black Diamond Trail Ergo Cork. So when we chose our best trekking poles for backpacking and hiking, we really just looked at something that was gonna be durable and comfortable for long hikes. Uh, so like the name implies, the Trail Ergo Cork has a cork grip. Cork is really, it's probably my favorite material for trekking pole grips. Mine too. Yeah, it's just really comfortable and it conforms really well to your hand. It's also going to be breathable uh, and it's gonna work in any sort of temperature. It doesn't get cold, it doesn't get super hot. It also works when it's wet. Um, I mean, it's not slippery when it's wet. It's not slippery when <laughs> it's wet. Obviously it works. Uh, so yeah, so these have a cork grip on them. And then they do actually have a grip that extends down the shaft. So if you need to just choke up on the grip of the pole and you don't want to mess with the locking mechanism, you can do that really easily on these. You also have a padding on the strap that is also adjustable. Uh, the strap is adjustable. And the handle actually angles forward slightly, which again is just going to add to more comfort uh, when you're using these on long hikes. The, these poles do come in a men's and a women's version. The women's version is just going to have a slightly smaller Total grip. length, yeah. Yeah, and total length, yep. yeah. So total length of the pole and a slightly smaller grip. So if you have smaller hands or you're shorter, you can also look at a women's pole. Um, and then these are made out of an aluminum material. So aluminum is a little bit heavier than materials like carbon, but it's going to have some flex to it. Uh, and so overall, it's just a pretty durable yeah. material. Um, this guy's got a really simple and easy uh, locking mechanism. So you just flip this guy up and you slide him up and down. Um, it is adjusted through a screw. So that's pretty easy to deal with. You can just use your multi-tool if it starts getting loose or a little bit too tight and you just crank that up and down. Um, it, has a, um, it has a basket and we can actually switch this basket out for a snow basket. So if you want to use it for snowshoeing or for some winter stuff, um, you know, you got, you can just swap that out and it's totally. a good all around pull. Yeah, it's one pole to used for everything. Our next category is best trekking poles under $100. And for that, we chose the Lecky Legacy Light Cortec trekking pole. If you're looking for just a good first trekking pole, the Lecky Legacy Light Cortec is a good option for you. It's adjustable, it's decently lightweight, it's inexpensive, and it has a comfortable grip. So with these grips, you get a cork and rubber compound grip. So benefits of cork, as well as the Durability of rubber. Durability of rubber, yeah, yeah. totally. Uh, and these poles do come in a women's version. We don't have the women's version here, but that's just something to note. One cool thing that I like about the grip is that you actually have this small bump here, and that's designed to go between your pointer finger and your middle finger, and that's gonna help relieve some pressure on your hands. So these are really great if you're not used to using trekking poles and you just want a little bit more comfort there. Uh, the way these guys adjust is with a flip lock, just like the Trail Ergo Cork. Um, the difference is that instead of using a screw, it actually uses a thumb screw for the adjustment. So you can just do that with your hands. You don't need a multi-tool and it's super easy to do at home. Um, and you can also switch out the basket on this guy for a snow basket. So you can use them in the winter too. Yeah, just good all around pull. And our next category for trekking poles are best trekking poles for fast hikes and for trail runners. And our pick for that one is gonna be the Black Diamond Distance Z Carbon. So when we chose the best trekking pole for trail runners or fast hikes, we looked at something that was really packable and really lightweight. And so that was how we came up with the Distance Z Carbon. Um, the reason that weight is important is that with these poles, it's not only the carry weight, but it's also something that's easy to swing. So you don't want to have to like whip a really heavy pull out in front of you if you're trail running. They're also really, really quick and easy to deploy. So the way you do these guys is you just grab this bit right here and you just pull this all the way out. And you want to make sure that you see this little silver spike come up and you feel that click because that way you know that you're fully locked in and it's nice and stiff. Yeah, so otherwise you can have a pole that's like this but doesn't have that locking mechanism and it's not going to stay. Yeah, basically. it's not going to stay. <laughs> so yeah, 
Um, these poles don't have a ton of adjust. They have no adjustment. Yeah, they have no adjustment. Actually, within the length. Right. Uh, but you can actually choke up on the grip pretty easily. Yep. So if you just like that. Yeah, if you need something like that, you can do this on the grip. Um, and then you do have a strap here, and these are marked as right and left, and it has a little bit of adjustment. So if you have a larger hand or something, you can adjust the strap. Yep. These poles aren't designed to be used in snow, so you can't interchange the basket and put a snow basket on them, but they do have interchangeable tips. So you can actually remove this rubber tip and put on a carbide tip. Our next category for poles are best poles for travel. And our pick for that one is going to be another black diamond pole, and it's going to be the black diamond distance Z. Which is exactly like these poles, but made out of aluminum. So when we chose a trekking pole for travel, we knew that we wanted something that would fit into a suitcase. And so the Z pole is actually packed down to be 15 inches, which is really small. Um, but we ended up choosing a pole that was aluminum instead of carbon. I feel like this is a good time to talk about the difference between aluminum and carbon. Um, there's a couple of advantages to aluminum. It's going to have a little more flex in the material, which means that if you bang it around a little bit or you put a dent in the pole, the pole might not be able to take down anymore, but it's still going to be there. You can still use the pole. If you go with carbon, um, it's, it's actually just as strong and it's going to be lighter. It's going to be a little bit more expensive, but if you exceed the strength of the carbon, it's going to shatter. So aluminum, slightly less expensive, slightly heavier, but it has more durability because of the flex. Carbon, slightly more expensive, a lot lighter, and can shatter. Depending on how you're using the poles, you might find that you get better durability out of carbon, but you do you. Kind of up to you. Yeah. Our last category is best hiking staff, and for that we chose the REI Co-op hiker staff. Okay, be real. Why would you want one staff as opposed to a pair of poles? Okay. Super good question, Hotec. So if you just want to have a pole for, say, like doing river crossings or where you need some extra stability on certain areas of the trail, okay. but you don't want to have to lug around two trekking poles, a hiking staff is awesome. And the cool thing about the hiker staff is that this actually extends a lot longer than the other trekking poles. So this goes up to 50, oops, 55 inches. Oh. So say you're like on a log and you're crossing a river, you can extend this to a really long length and have extra stability. Okay. The other cool thing about this pole is that you do have an extended grip, so you can choke up on it really easily, and it has a cork top on it, and the top of it unscrews and turns into a monopod. Ah, so you can get your photographer on. Yeah, you can like put it, I'm gonna take a picture, or like take a selfie. So yeah, overall just kind of a, a good option if you're looking for just a little bit of extra stability without having to carry around two poles. I can dig it. Sweet. That's it for trekking poles. If you have any additional questions, you can look at our other videos. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And as always, feel free to come into your local REI to talk to the experts there. We'll see you out on trail.